Now, when we attach this wing case, what we're going to do is flip it over. That's the top side of the fibers. That's the bottom side. And this one's got a little bit more flash, a little bit more color to it. So I'm going to put that down flat because what's going to happen is I'm going to fold it over and the shiny side is what's going to end up showing. So I kind of get it where I want it. Once again, I said maybe, maybe about the same length as a little bit shorter than the tail. Sort of pinch it together right above where I want it to go. Hold it in place so it doesn't move around. And just do a couple of wraps just to kind of lock it. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this excess that's sticking out the front here. And then just wrap the rest of it down. Once again, kind of trying to continue to make that body tapered and uh, hold those guys up. And then just wrap it all the way back to where that tapered section of the pheasant tails started. And now we're ready to add our peacock curl. We have tied on all the pheasant tail that we're going to use on our pheasant tail nymph. But so far, other than the thread and the uh, wire, that's all we've used is pheasant tail.